What's up, guys? How you doing? This is Wes from MasterlessSamurai.com, and uh, just to change things up a bit, I thought I'd do a video or a Camtasia post. So I'm going to try to keep this short and to the point, because I know you're all busy, as am I. So um, basically, this is a follow-up on a previous post that I did in on November 16th, and I wrote about how you can add some custom icons to your Prosper 202 installation. So basically, really quick, I wanted just to show you um, an icon pack that I made and how to get that installed onto your server and get those icons working within Prosper 202. So on the post, um, not this post, but on the post where you're watching this video, obviously, there will be a link to the zip file, which will be the uh, Prosper 202 icon pack. So I'm going to show you that really quick. And it's in here. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about it, I have a README file which has some more of the text-based description. But uh, if you follow along with the video, you should be fine. If you go into the Images folder and drill down, um, there's 20 new icons that I went out and grabbed and added to this pack. So um, it's not comprehensive. It's obviously not everything that's out there. I just wanted to stick to 20 of probably the top sites that an affiliate marketer would use for uh, traffic because obviously there's thousands of uh, social networking sites but um, you may not may or may not be able to use them all with affiliate marketing and so I know a lot of them don't allow affiliate links things like that but of course sites like uh, Craigslist and eBay um, may not be within their terms but you can you know you can bend it a little bit and, and press your luck with some affiliate links if you if you're so daring uh, myspace obviously and facebook things like that oh facebook is not in here i'm sorry but um, anyway email i have an aweber icon which is cool if you guys are doing any sort of emailing and you want to send out email and see the clicks and see a different icon based on you know an email campaign um, i'm going to show you how to do that too so we've got 20 new icons here okay and basically all you're going to need to do is load these icons, which are in the PPC folder, into the PPC folder on your Prosper server. Okay, that's pretty easy. You should know how to uh, FTP some files. If not, uh, leave some comments and I'll help you through it. I also added two new icons. Oh, I can't see them here. I added two new icons for the browsers. These are basically just prettier icons for Firefox and IE. Uh, optional, you don't have to use them. But if you want to, they're there. Okay. And so the those are the icon files. The other main file that you're going to need is inside the 202-config folder. Basically, all you would have to do is drag and drop this file over the top of your existing 202 file. I do recommend you make a backup. So just in case something goes wrong, you have that. But um, I've already tested this. This works. All I've done is make a few mods on a few lines, add those 20 icons in there. And so you can uh, go ahead, drag and drop this over the top of your existing functions file, and it'll be ready to add into your server. Okay. Once that's done, we're not done yet because um, the icons are physically there, but the Prosper 202 database doesn't know what to do with them yet. So what we need to do is go into our Prosper account. So go ahead and log in, log in your Prosper server, and I'm going to quickly run through how to set up a, um, a campaign or basically a traffic source for one of the new icons. So um, now Prosper says PPC network. In this case, it's more of a traffic source than a PPC network. So for example, let's say Aweber. Okay, pretend we're going to send out emails to our our blog email list or something or uh, we have a sales page running that has an opt-in form and we want to blast emails out but also see within Prosper the clicks on that and you know potentially the conversions so go ahead and click add add Aweber we've already uploaded the icon remember and then you would add in your Aweber account so whatever you may have multiple Aweber accounts whatever your account might be so you know my name at aweber.com or your email address you know the drill okay so now we'll need to add a network um, I added never blue ads we can go ahead and just use that uh, 
and then a campaign. I've actually added a campaign for the uh, sake of the demonstration. So um, basically, if you wanted to see that icon in action, we can skip all the way to step seven, get links, okay? So let's just pretend we have an email going out today at 10.50, or it's, okay, it's almost 10 o'clock here, California time, December 3rd. So let's just say we're going to run a Neverblue campaign. It'll be the club mobile dating direct link, okay? For our AWeber account, and just same steps as you normally go through. Um, we don't really have a cost per click value since this is an email. You do some advanced math, you could probably come up with a number, but I'm going to skip that for now. So we're going to go ahead and generate a tracking link. And uh, as normal, we grab this tracking link and we're going to we're going to actually um, use this in the email. So you would go ahead and draft up your email and basically paste this wherever your affiliate link would go. And if you wanted to get pretty technical so you can track which email converted, um, you can do some fancy stuff by instead of adding over here where it says 202 keyword, uh, what you could do is maybe type in EM1 for email 1 and then maybe 120308 for the date or the time. You could put, um, you could your sub ID could be 12. 03 and then the time might be 10 p.m. Get creative. You can put whatever sub ID you know variable you want. Um, at this point, if you're sending a direct email, you're not tracking a keyword from a search engine. I believe there is a way to grab the um, the keyword that a search engine generated to your page, capture that, and send that to Aweber. But that's way more complicated than I want to get into right now. So. Um, if anything, just put a value here for the keyword. You're not actually going to type in parenthesis keyword, you know, close parenthesis. You're just going to put some sort of value here. So put the date, put email one, whatever you want, okay? So I'm going to open that in a new window, and you won't be able to see that from the uh, capture screen. But um, we're going to also watch it in spy view so you can see the icon actually show up when we get a click. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this up so we can see it real time. Now you're not going to see any data here because we haven't generated a click. So in a new window, I am going to go ahead, paste in my link. The screen's blank, so just bear with me. And I'm just going to put a 1. Okay, now we'll go back to this screen. And I just, basically, I just generated a click, you know, a fictitious click. And the link came in on the spy view as it normally does within Prosper. But you can see here that this is the AWeber icon. And so the process is the exact same for any other traffic source that I've included in the icon pack. So you could do this for YouTube, um, Easy and Articles, eBay, Craigslist, whatever you want. You might do some marketing on Craigslist where you make a profile and, and set up an autoresponder on there and you want to track it with Prosper. Well, now you have an icon and a pretty way to do it. And as you can see here, this is my new Firefox icon, a little a little brighter than the other one, so um, that's optional. But uh, that's it. That's the procedure. So simply uh, to recap, all you do is you go to step one. Okay, you go to the step tab, add in your PPC network, or in this case, your traffic source, YouTube, Craigslist, whatever. Add your account, just as you normally would. Um, and then go through the steps, you know, selecting the criteria you want for your link. Go to step seven, get your link. And once the users click, then you'll see those new icons within your stats. So um, that's basically that. I hope it was informative. Um, I know that seeing the icon necessarily doesn't add anything to your bottom line, but it's a nice to have. So... Um, now that Prosper is open source, this community can grow and we can continually um, help each other and add improvements and tweak it just to do new and cool things just so it becomes a uh, community-based tool in, in essence. So anyway, to um, close this post, that's about all I have for you today. Um, check back later. I have another video that I'm going to post very soon. 
on a uh, cool AdWords keyword finding strategy. So stay tuned for that, and uh, good luck. And if you have any questions, go ahead and email me on the contact page or post comments below the post. Take care, guys.